Okay, what I want to talk about now is a tricky situation on 1996 and newer small block Chevy. Now, where it gets tricky is an opposite rotation engines. Um, Pleasure Craft, which is uh, Pleasure Craft themselves, which is Crusader as well, along with Marine Power. Uh, I'm not aware Merc Cruiser did this, or, or and I definitely know Volvo Penna did not do this. So I'm going to say Marine Power, maybe Inmar, maybe um, some others, but for sure Pleasure Craft and Marine Power. Uh, they had an option where they would reverse a rotation of the small block engine. GM basically quit supporting opposite rotation engines back in 1992. So about 91 is the last year that you could get a, a long block from GM officially in a boat. I'm sure they made extra engines for so on, but <clears throat> 91 is about the last year you can do this. Well, in 1996, with the when the advent of the Vortec engine, um, GM, or I shouldn't say GM, uh, Pleasure Craft and uh, Marine Power and so forth, they went ahead and had an option to build an ops rotation engine, okay? So, for years and years, the ops rotation engine had a gear set, okay? This is not the correct gear set, by the way. This is just for demonstration purposes because I don't have the correct one in stock right now. We're out of them for a small block. And this is the most popular uh, ops rotation camshaft. So on a small block, the, the gear bolts on, big block it presses on. But again, we're just talking about small blocks here because this is what the only thing I'm aware of that they did this to. So uh, bolt on gear, normal ops rotation camshaft with the one, two, seven, five, six, three, four, eight firing order. Okay, and this happens to be a Melling 2125. So this pretty much would fit, this is hydraulic flat tapping. This would pretty much fit everything, you know, 1992 and down, everything, you know. And if you wanted to convert something, this would be what you would do. The, just, the cam with the gear set, even though the crank is turning opposite, you can see that the cam would be still turning clockwise. So the distributor gear, the, that cut is still the same. There's no issue, okay? Now, let's talk about this 1996 to end of production, which is about 2019, 2020, something like that, because the small block engine is now officially done is what I'm being told from GM. So I'm sure there's going to be aftermarket support, but there's no more long blocks or new engines, I should say. Well, this engine is in for overhaul here. This is one of these uh, tricky opposite rotation engines. Now, the 96 and newer, they used a timing chain, okay? So I want to walk through this very slowly because I know this is, as years go by, this is really going to trip some people up. And this, everything I'm talking about is not in a book. It's not in a service manual. This is just stuff I've figured out along the line and looking at the parts books and from selling and rebuilding these engines over the years. So one of the first things you'll notice is, this, this is the reason I'm changing this cam, this gear is wiped out, okay? Is this is a roller cam. This was a factory roller cam and it's set up for a roller block with a thrust plate now you see it's got this what they call a step nose again this is my original this is my replacement and this is your typical small block that's not a roller okay you'd have to put a cam button on this if you switch to a roller and that sort of thing so a step nose cam which means you're pretty much stuck in my opinion with the factory single roller chain i know i probably get some feedback on that or but that's fine I, that this is what i normally use with these especially with the plastic timing cover, which the 96 and up Vortec engine uses. Um, and the distributor gear is different, okay? Now this distributor has already been replaced. It's got a Protronics distributor, but originally this would have had a Mallory distributor when it left the factory. This engine is actually a 2016 engine. Um, but a long story short, look at the gears here. Now this is a normal Chevrolet almost anything gear, okay? With a gear set opposite rotation, okay? Or a chain normal rotation. Uh, but you'll see this gear is cut the other way, all right? So this is still gonna turn the distributor clockwise like a normal Chevy, but that cam is gonna turn counterclockwise, okay? Because it's being driven by a chain, all right? So you'll see, I'll compare these here. See how the teeth are the wrong direction? So that's something you gotta pay attention to. You slide this cam and don't pay attention and you'll never get that distributor in there, see? So that, that's kind of a deal breaker. So these two are the uh, right-hand 
you know, engines that Pleasure Craft and uh, Marine Power and maybe a couple others did, and this is what normally you would have saw. So the gear's the other way, all right? So I, I'm pretty sure this camshaft was cut by camshaft machining up in Jackson, Michigan. Um, I got a number here. And that 1409-7395, believe it or not, is the... 383 the HD 383 and the um, uh, uh, the ramjet 350 uh, cam okay so all they did was copy those specs and then cut it on this left hand core so uh, this cam is no different than a than a 383 crate motor from GM performance parts or or the uh, ramjet 350 and they use this on carbureted engines and fuel injected engines so that's just what I found out from looking at the specs and so forth so that's the deal these cams might be a little tricky to come by because they're not popular and this was something that a marine uh engine manufacturer just happened to do so uh very very interesting now when i come back i'm going to talk about the reluctor if it's fuel injected because there's another trick to these all right the last thing i want to talk about here is this crankshaft reluctor now this is very very important now this only matters on a fuel injected engine uh, or factory one, I should say. Factory fuel into a carburetor engine. This is going to be here, but we don't care because nobody's using it. That the cam sensor has a uh, dust cover over it on the electrical plugs. So it doesn't matter. But if I got an EFI engine, I'm a Miffy Four. I'm an ECM07 uh, E controls box. You know, this this is this is mission critical stuff here. So, what I want to talk about is why there are two different part numbers for these and why it matters which one is on which rotation and what I believe Crusader did. And what I'm about to tell you is not in any service manual that I've ever seen. This is just stuff I've figured out over the years. Um, so I, I, like I say, this is gonna be a very, very good tip. And I know down the road, this is gonna get screwed up. You're gonna get remand engines that this isn't right, or you're gonna swap stuff over and you're gonna get in a hurry. And you're not gonna pay attention and you're gonna have issues and there's gonna be no codes and you're not gonna know why. And the only way you're going to figure it out accurately is with a scope, and a lot of people aren't scope users. So this is this is really, really got to listen up here because this is very important. All right. So how this works is I have four teeth. See, this, there's a tooth here, tooth here, tooth here, and tooth here. Okay. Now, on a V8 engine, I fire every 90 degrees of crankshaft rotation. All right. There's 720 degrees in two spins, 360 in a circle, 720 for two spins. And uh, so every 90 degrees, if I take 720 divided by eight, that's 90, all right? So, so every time I hit this leading edge, I start the spark show. Now, if you notice, this is, this, there's a round hole here, a rounded hole, I should say, and then there's a square or rectangular hole here. Now, the rectangular hole is what the GM one would have looked like from the factory, okay? Somebody cut this in here, and I'll get to that here in a second. But the reason this matters is if you look at this tooth, you know, if I'm a normal car engine, I'm spinning this way, or I'm a left-hand rotation, you know, marine engine, you know, I, this is this is the tooth I'm gonna be on. Notice how the leading edge, this is the leading edge if I'm rotating this way, is right here at this keyway. Now, if I'm going the opposite, let, let's say this other hole that Pleasure Craft put in here isn't here. And let's say I screw this up, right? I bolt this engine together, and I got, I, you know, and, and I mess this up. Well, here's what's going to happen, all right? What's going to happen is, is the timing is going to be too far advanced, okay? So if you notice here on the uh, opposite rotation engine, or on the opposite rotation one, you'll see that this line lines up with that leading edge. So on a right-hand rotation engine, yes, I know I'm spinning it left-hand, but right-hand because it goes by the flywheel. You see how that lines up. Well, if I put that here and I'm running this way, you see how this notch is is further ahead? Anything to the right of where it's supposed to be is retarded. If it's to the left of where it's supposed to be, it's advanced, okay? Assuming you're, you know, the rotation. So see, if I put this in here, this tooth is already, I'm already three quarters of the way past here at least. So that spark show is gonna happen way too far advanced, all right? which that could cause all kinds of problems. That could put holes in pistons, you know, tulip valves, you know, that, that could, that could pot potentially ruin the engine. So this is something that people are gonna have to watch. And like I said, I will put the part numbers of these in the description, but you can basically see what's going on. So on these engines here, this guy here runs the spark show, you know, 
that crank trigger is what's what's doing the spark i can take the distributor completely out of the engine roll the engine over as long as i've got a valid crank trigger i am going to have spark i don't even have to have the distributor in the engine that's why the gm term for that distributor was called an hvs a high voltage switch it was not a distributor technically it was a high voltage switch uh that cam sensor in there has nothing to do with spark Merck Cruiser in the early years uh, did not use the cam sensor when they first went to their 555 processors and the e and the uh, MIFI stuff. They did not use that, and in later years, they started using the cam sensor. That is just for fuel timing uh, or and or misfire detection if you're a 2011 and newer and have catalytic converter. Because right here with this, I don't know what I know. Two cylinders are up at the same time. And, and I can fire the coil because my district, my HVS, as they call it, is going to be pointing to the right way. So when I strike the coil, I'm good. Okay. So in closing, another review is this whole wouldn't matter if it was dead nut center of the tooth. But the reason it's that way is because things happen either at the beginning of a tooth or at the end of a tooth. So you can see here that this is lined up with the beginning of the tooth going this way and this one. So and the round one is happens this, you know, at the beginning of this tooth right here. Let's see, so hope it comes out. Yeah, it should come out good. There you go. That's even better. Yeah, right there. So that tooth, this is for left hand rotation, excuse me, right hand rotation, left hand this way rotation and this tooth here is for left hand flywheel rotation right you know right hand timing chain rotation i know it's going to confuse some of you but basically this homemade notch that crusader put in goes for the opposite rotation so i would put the key of the crank okay for my engine it's going to go right here just like that on the round hole that is for left hand this way rotation of the crank or right hand rotation because like I say marine is always right hand or, or excuse me always from the flywheel end like just like that okay so that way then I'm at the leading edge of that trigger if I put this on here and I and the cranks going that way so you know you see how far I'm gonna be advanced see how that tooth is way in front of that keyway that is going to advance the ignition timing again there will be no codes and this isn't marked this doesn't say left hand right hand nothing so you know this is not very well described in the books so it, it, at all i have not seen it if if you've seen it send it to me i'd love to read it i have not found this anywhere these guys you know engineers i you know god bless them but they like to do stuff and not tell you anything and then they wonder why there's problems why nobody can figure them out you know so in closing that's what i want to go over with you so if you got any questions let me know i'll try to help you out i just know that this is going to get screwed up down the road so i want to talk about it now so hopefully it prevents some kind of headache down the road so thanks for watching